This is my attack power. And that's my life total. If this gets to zero, I'm dead. What are you at? Right there. 19. That's what I start at. So it goes up and down during the game. Um, these right here are the abilities on the guy. I can use two of these abilities every turn. But I can't use the same ability twice. So, for example, I can move from era to era. I can attack, but I can't attack twice. I can't move twice. I can't draw two cards. I have the intelligence. Why can't you attack twice? Oh, okay. It's too good. So, we had to put a limitation on it. All right. Um, the I intelligence. Video. I wonder how many video views we're going to get. Uh, who cares? I do. <laughs> The intelligence is how you play your cards. You have to have enough intelligence to play the card. So, for example, this is the requirement to play this card. So, I have to have enough intelligence to play it. Obviously, he can't play it. Cost seven. He's only got three. But this is a base number. So, your total intelligence is equal to the number on him plus these. The number of cards in your hand. So, so your one, intelligence is seven because three, yeah. one, two, plus. three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play it, but there's nothing to do yet with that card because this is turn one and that's. You're taking a really long time. I'm sorry, like I'm two, trying to explain. It's been like two minutes and twenty five seconds. A lot of requests for this information. <laughs> so, okay, um, let's see. It's my turn. All right, so we're gonna start the game now. So. I am going, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use his first ability and draw a card. Ooh, that's pretty. I am going to play... Hey, try to kill me really fast. I can't. Try. I'm just saying try. Okay. I'm going to play a Book of Secrets. Draw a card. This is a relic. Relics come into play in the era that you're in. So if I would have moved here and played it, then which probably would have been smarter. Um, anyways. Draw a card. You can take it back. Go ahead. <coughs> Can you take it back? Yeah, go ahead. Take okay. it back. Just take it back. Thanks, man. Yeah. Got a video now that I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take her backer. Okay, I'm gonna move my guy. That's his second ability. Actually, I'm gonna move her. This is his second ability for the turn. You got it on video. That's funny. That's great. You're probably gonna edit that and put it on Facebook. Or something stupid. So he's used both of his abilities, so he becomes deactivated. He can't be used anymore. Uh, but I can continue to play cards and use stuff. So, and I mean, for all intents and purposes, he is me. So he can still. You know, play cards, but he just can't use his special abilities anymore. So I'm going to play Book of Secrets here. I'm going to draw a card. All right. I'm going to play Concealed Weapon. So what this does is this lets me uh, search my deck for any armament, reveal it, and then shuffle my deck back up. Come on, be in here. Oh, you got them. You got both of them? That's not fair. I'm gonna get this one, I think. Wait, hold on. No, I'm not. Oh, that's a trinket. Oh, that's another take back. Two. So, what? That doesn't count as a. <laughs> that's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Go. You're gonna make it on our YouTube I video. Even, I can't even put that in there. That's... Why? Because it's got artwork on it. It's, it's not for the game. Oh, okay. I don't want that on the video. Aha. You got a handgun! Okay. Okay. Would you like to cut? No. Yeah, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay Andrew, Andrew, you gotta be quiet, okay, buddy? Back of the game. Okay, okay. so, Go it's been used. Um, my mommy was so sad and kept. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is going to be ridiculously hard to edit. Yeah, that's what I was trying No, I'm just to saying, it's going to be hard to edit because the file is huge. So keep going. Um, okay, so... 10 gig file. I'm going to play this. Actually, I'm not. Play... Data transfer. So, and I have to discard a card. See this right here? This number? It's also on this card. It's on this card. It's on all the cards in, in your deck. This number is how many cards you're going to draw or discard if the card is successfully played. What's the intelligence cost? This is four. Oh, four. Okay. Yeah. And intelligence, just so you know, the intelligence is not, it's not a cost, actually. Intelligence is a requirement. So you can keep playing it over and over again as long as you have the intelligence. So as long as my guy has, right now he has seven, I can play the one that costs seven, and then I'd be down 
to six. It's a constant. It's a, it's a static thing. It's always there. Okay. You can keep going. So, this is how many cards you're going to draw if you play the card and you successfully play it. So, meaning your opponent doesn't spoil your plan somehow, which there's only one card in the game that does that. So, if it's a negative number, you have to discard. If it were a positive number, you would get to draw a card. And if it's a zero, like this one is, then nothing happens. The other thing that's really important to note is, this is not a cost. The intelligence requirement is literally a requirement, so you must have that much intelligence. But you don't spend your intelligence like you would spend um, a resource in, in other games. So it's a constant thing. So if I have seven, if I have four cards in my hand, and I have three intelligence on my guy, then I have seven total intelligence. If I play a card, I have six total intelligence. Even if that card was had an intelligence requirement of seven, it was a constant thing. If I draw cards, then it goes up. If I lose cards, it goes down. Um, anyways, this is what I'm playing. So since I play this, I have to discard a card. And I'm going to discard Butterfly Effect. And I'm going to go, I get to go get any card that I want out of my deck. I'm going to play Momentum Swing. Why do you always draw a book of secrets? <laughs> stupid. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just good at this game. Uh, so I get to draw a card, and I gain a life, and you, you uh, have to discard a card, and you take one damage. I'll discard that one. Okay. And then I'm going to play... Actually, I'm going to draw a card with Book of Secrets. And then I'm going to... Play a Wormhole. And I have to discard a card, so I'm going to discard this. What's a Wormhole do? I can move to any era. Oh yeah, and you take two damage? Yeah. Allow, basically allows you to move more than once per turn. Yep. I'm going to attack you as my first ability for the turn. I go to uh, 20... 20. And then I'm going to use second ability. I'm going to move over here. And then I'm going to play a book of secrets. And draw a card. Stupid. <laughs> um, and then I am going to play an extraction jar. And this lets me discard a card. And it says you may gain one life whenever I play a spell. So I have to discard a card. So I'm going to discard reverse magnetism. This has luck. I'll deal one damage to you um, with my card. And the reason why I can do that is because this has timeless right here. It says timeless. At the top of every card, it either says present or timeless. If it's present... It only happens in the present time, the present era that your time traveler is in. Wherever you're at is the present to you. So when you play a card, if it says present up here, the effects of that card only happen here. If it says timeless, they can happen anywhere, or if it lets you target something, then it can target wherever you want. So this particular card says timeless. So I get to deal with damage to you. I go to a 20. And I gain a life. From that, okay, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I gain two life. At the beginning of my turn, and I also get to draw another card because of this arrow here. Awesome, and I draw a really good card, which is finally some good cards here. Barb Shield, so again, becomes fun for me. How many cards are you in? I have uh, four, five, six intelligence. Nice. I can draw two cards right there, if you can see. Let's see here. Why don't you bring that over here so I can look at it. Turn around. It's a glare over there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Boom, barb shield. So because I played this, played this uh, spell or this event, I'm going to draw two cards. That's pretty good. This armament. And then, uh, what else am I going to do here? <laughs> These armaments stay on me the entire time. I basically wear it. So when I travel over here to put some beat down, it, it stays on me. What's that card do, anyway? What? Barb shield. Barb shield. Whenever uh, I dealt damage you, you, from a source like you, you'll take one damage. Okay. Okay. 
And then <laughs> we got some cargo nukes in here. It's pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play Blessed Armor. Oh my god. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs>